Okay, welcome to Ross Barnett. First bass open of the year. We are licking our wounds from a rough event at Pickwick. Got up early this morning, 3 a.m., and got down here to Barnett. Uh, the wind is ripping, the lake is rough, it's real muddy. So it's right on par with what I expected. But hey, this is a fun place to fish. We're gonna have fun this week, try to dial something in, try to fish free. I gotta bust out of this slump. I gotta start going off of uh, what feels right instead of what I think. So let's let's roll on and have a good week. Here we go. Been fishing about three hours. I think I've caught four fish. I've had about six bites. Really shallow on a chatterbait up in just typical boat dock type stuff. Sea walls, little islands with bushes and brush on them. And fish are like six inches to a foot deep, which is expected in this chocolate milk. Uh, hadn't hadn't hung any good ones yet though so but it does seem like the fish are closer toward the mouths of these little cuts and pockets so uh, i feel like spawning's long said and done and i need to focus my efforts for bigger fish near deep water and find some bait so that's what we're going to strike out and do wraps up first day of practice i caught nothing but little fish but i got several bites they're extremely shallow we'll give it another go tomorrow so it's eight o'clock i Looked for a shad spawn, didn't really see one. I saw a little bit of shad up on Rip Rap and, and had one little bite. And then I came in the marina, I caught a pushing two pounder and I just uh, stuck, a, I don't know, a five pounder. Gave him slack, he jumped and got off so nobody saw it. So that's the first good fish we've seen. Marina, clone Ringo. A lot better day today. I've had a five pounder uh, in the marina. Had another big fish, four to six, I don't know. Uh, eat a frog. Thank goodness I shook him off. I've caught a few two and a halfs and threes on a buzzing frog, a buzz bait, clone Ringo. Uh, just around fish in the four trees and seven trees area. They're pretty shallow, but I found some clean water. And fish chasing bait and blowing up. And you can just tell there's a lot going on there. So a lot of boat pressure too, but Hopefully I can figure out how to catch them around other boats. Well, as you can see, there's some bad stuff behind us. So I am gonna go take a nap. I'm long overdue, I'm out of gas. I'm gonna go fuel up and get the boat covered up and let it rain. Last day of practice, I left the GoPro in the truck yesterday. So I didn't give you any updates, but we caught, I caught, I don't know, a few maybe five or six fish. I found some frog fish way back in the backwater. Uh, also found a point that seemed like it had some a, a group of fish on it this morning. I think we caught one or two little fish. Uh, last day, we gotta be off water at noon. Got Keith in the boat with me today. So we've got, it's 8.30 now. We got a little time to dial it in. Practice is over. We didn't catch many fish today. I found an area really late that I saw some bass hit and it had some hyacinth with some pretty good depth under it. Uh, I never got a bite in there, but I saw three different fish hit and it just felt right. So maybe that's something if I got high pressure days during the event that I could go do uh, something just to add to the toolbox, hopefully. But uh, we got registration and then a meeting tonight and uh, get my tackle squared away. I got half a day to do it. So we'll get at it and go catch one tomorrow. All right, I got my day one drawing and guess who it is keith newsome what are the odds of that we are boat 77 we're flight seven he actually got his text and looked at it He's standing by me he said we're boat 77 flight seven i said those are some lucky numbers <laughs> and then he showed me the phone and and showed me that i'm partnered with him so man that's uh that's an awesome flight awesome draw tomorrow is going to be some fun john 1633 i have told these things to you that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart i have overcome the world 77 jimmy washington james newsome
boat and then swim. Look at that. Barely hooked. That's what's going on. You see how long I want to hold? Swimming with it? Why would you? Okay. 
I'm Ross Barnett, and we're ready to bring up the next animal, Jimmy Washam, Covington, Tennessee boater. Thank bring you. him up, sir. Looks like you had a good day, five fish in your bag. We'll get you started. Looks like a good day for Jimmy. Five fish. Gonna check in at 16 pounds and two ounces, all the way up to third place for Jimmy. 16-2 for Jimmy Washam, Covington, Tennessee boater, and he's at third place.
No, ja ich wow. We had to work for him, but it's fine. Lake Cole. Let's do it again. Place. So you are inside the top 10 at the moment. You know, it's we still got plenty of anglers to weigh in. It, what hurts the most is I figured them out with literally 20 oh, minutes man. left. I caught four or five fish. I culled three times in the last 10 minutes. I, when I checked in, I left five minutes on the table. I, oh, I just needed that one bite, and I really felt like that. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll hold on. But uh, wherever we end up, I'm thankful for a good finish. Start the opens. Yeah, you get your good check today. I think no matter so, what, you're inside that top 10. Good, good job, Jimmy. Thank you. I cannot believe it. We snuck into the top 10 in 10th place. I made a last minute adjustment and moved up shallow and it seemed like all the fish went up shallow and I culled two or three times right there at the end and that was pivotal for me sneaking in by two ounces. So, so awesome how, uh, you know, when decisions like that come together. Who knows if those fish will still be there tomorrow, but the cool thing is I'm gonna get to find out. So really looking forward to a top 10. We finally busted this slump.
barely hooked. Pretty fish. Long and skinny. Plugging. Fish. That's how you get paid. Bigger than I thought he was when he ate it. Look how fat he is. Ready? 
you guys are ready. Jimmy, you ready? Come on up. He's just coming into the day in 10th place. Let's get loud for him. If he is your angler, I want to hear you cheering. Jimmy Washington, coming to Tennessee. And Jimmy, set him up right here. Two days of fishing had you at 27 pounds, 10 ounces. Five more in your bag. Looks like you've had a good day. You need eight pounds, seven ounces to take over the hot seat. Looking for eight, seven with these five. Big day. 17 pounds and two ounces for Jimmy Washington. Nice job. Your new leader. Jimmy Washington in his top 10. We're sitting in the lead. I don't think you could really ask for much more. Hey, you know, I barely squeaked in yesterday. I, I figured something out. I called three times in the last 10 minutes, and I said, wow, I needed one more bite to get in that top 10. I really want to go fishing more. By grace of God, I snuck in by two ounces. Today, those fish were still there, and I just went and had a lot of fun. I, did, I never had that huge bite. You know, I haven't caught a fish over five all week. But today I had a lot of fun. There was a lot of fist bumping with, with my marshal today and uh, it caught them all. Most of my fish this week on a clone Ringo, 16 pound line, a 7.3 hammer rod, 3 16 three ounce tungsten weight, just dragging it through pads. I was around a lot of boats. And then what I realized yesterday afternoon, a lot of those fish had pushed up and I guess the actually I saw a heron sitting out on a stump and later in the day I noticed his knees were wet and the stump was gone I said maybe these fish have pushed up into that shallow stuff and sure enough they pulled up into the reeds caught a lot of fish nice. and, and had a lot of fun so that was the key you just a uh, little instinct to go up a little bit uh, further shallow and uh, they were there that's right, and, and you know, at this lake, everything looks so good. I mean, it's a beautiful lake, it's, it's so fun to fish, but you can spend a lot of time fishing stuff where you think you're gonna get a bite every cast, and you don't. So there was really just about a 50 yard stretch where I, I caught a lot of fish and they were just really congregated. It looked, it looked just like the rest of the stuff, but there was bait in there and there was a little bit of milfoil. Gotcha. All right, well, you want to get some thank yous in? I know you got a lot of support out there, either watching online or in the crowd right here. Absolutely. I want to say hey to my wife back home, Danielle. She's uh, she's due in early June with a baby or she'd have made the ride. And my four-year-old, my, my rest of my family. Uh, hey to Profound, my family at Profound Outdoors, Rockfish Gloves, and Midway Marine. Thank you all for all your support. Well, take a seat in the hot seat. We're going to see how long it lasts. 44-12 is your two-day total. A three-day total. You can probably help me. Thank you, guys. He's in the league. Give me a handshake with Jimmy. Good job, Trevor. 45 pounds and 9 ounces. This is the market at the moment.